two identical models. The one on the left came off the printer as is with little post-processing. The one on the right has been taken off the printer, cleaned up as the, second, as the first one was, and it was vapor bathed in acetone. Some of the features on the model on the right have been lost due to it being left in the vapor bath for too long. This can be a good thing and a bad thing depending on your situation. Once the model has been vapored, it will be soft and malleable, so be cautious with the part. One thing to note is that once out of the vapor, acetone will still be present in the ABS, so do not apply heat to the surface. Let the parts sit in a room temperature area out of the sunlight. Hey everyone, this part of the video I will show you the Octave method of the acetone vapor bath. So here at Octave we use the paint can method. So with this method we have a simple one gallon paint can and on the inside we have a few things. One being a bracket I'll go over this stuff in a moment. And then two spacers. So, I'm going to go over the inside of the uh, paint can right now. So, on the inside, we have a towel lining the inside of it. The purpose of this is that when you put in your acetone, it will all be at the bottom. It'll pool up at the bottom as any liquid will. So we simply pour the liquid in and then we roll it around and get the towel nice and damp. And so we want to get it damp as high as we can because when acetone is vaporing off, it all tends to stay at the bottom. And if you have a short part, that's fine. But if you have a taller part, you want it to be um, vapored as evenly as possible. So if the vapor starts at the top and works its way down, as well as being at the bottom, you're, all, you're gonna get a, a fairly consistent vapor bath, but it's as consistent as vapor is. Anyways, so that's the first part of it. The second part is the brackets. We have two of them, very simple. These are just spacers to keep the part and the other platform off of the bottom of the paint can. Keep it out of the direct acetone that's left at the bottom. Next this just goes right on top. So when you're putting in a part, it doesn't matter because it's not been bathed in the acetone yet so it won't be soft, it'll just be as it is normally. You just go ahead and put it onto your platform. When you want to take the part out after it's been sitting in there for a while, you just go in and you grab it, very careful, and you just lift your bracket out. You can use a pair of pliers to get in there easier. You can do whatever you like to pull it out, but do not grab your part and lift it out with your hands or any other object. Just lift it by the platform that you have. That's why we have this little lip here. So, another thing to go over is that when it is um, in progress, you do not seal the paint can. You just you can put the lid on, but don't seal it. Cause there's a um, back pressure that be, that's caused by the uh, vapor. So, or there's a um, I'm sorry, not back pressure, but just a um, pressure. And uh, so. This is just the acetone that we use here. Acetone in its nature is very um, flammable, so don't have it near open flames, sparks, that kind of deal. And uh, don't inhale it for long periods of time, or at all if possible. It, uh, it's not very good to inhale. Anyways, um, so as I showed before, there are some parts that look very nice because of the uh, vapor bath. And I hope some of your stuff turns out as good as uh, ours does. Thank you. Just a few more things to add. For one, um, there are some suggestions of using a turntable or some sort of device that will turn the entire 
paint can as to help with circulation. I don't have any preference for or against it, so it's up to you to find out what you would uh, prefer. The other thing is that my actual preference is to put the paint can out in the sun to help with the vapor. It reacts quicker and your parts generally get done quicker. There are other methods that use uh, heating up the acetone. I prefer not to do that. If it's around open flames, obviously that's a really bad idea. If it's around some sort of electric heater, that's fine. But I prefer to have it um, just cooked off in the sun. I find that gives the um, best effect. It gives it the best coverage. So that's just my personal preferences and uh, what I tend to use here at Octave.